Professional goalie Kimberly Sass is one fierce hockey player. But surprise, she's also an architect. I love art in that you kind of create your own rules, whereas architecture, the rules are kind of presented to you. We all know that architects design buildings. But did you know that architectural designers plan the interior of buildings as well? Today, architectural designer Kimberly Sass is going to show us the planning behind one of her favorite buildings, this pro ice hockey stadium in New Jersey. This is plexiglass, and it's meant to protect the audience on this side of the glass from the rubber pucks flying every which way on the ice surface, and also sticks and bodies slamming against oh, good, bodies. the glass yeah. and the boards. Great. It may be obvious the clear glass is there so you can see, but up until the mid-1940s, hockey rinks used chicken wire as protection, which was much better for keeping the chickens in than pucks out. Here they come, but there's plexiglass right there, so I am fine, I am fine. <laughs> Clearly the audience has to see the tiny little puck from every seat in the house. So how do designers make that possible? Ice arenas typically have stadium, very bright, powerful lights. It's because the players on the ice have to see this little round rubber disc from 100 feet away. Also, the referees have to be able to see the puck and make sure they follow it if it goes into the goal. And also, the fans need to be tracking this little object as well. With a small puck and a huge stadium, sound plays an important role in making hockey more exciting. Sound waves bounce off hard surfaces like metal and ice, creating an echo effect which increases the noise of the crowd's cheers. Sounds like you really work with a lot of different people as an architectural designer. Yes. I kind of understand why you go by sass now. <laughs> yes. She's a boss. But because she can't teach me how to install seats, she's gonna give me some hockey pointers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I, I know that you told me you were a professional hockey player, but seeing it in person is kind of insane. So, we're gonna start on the blue line. We're gonna do some shuffling. Don't wait up, I'll catch up. So obviously, I pretty much nailed shuffling, but now let's see if I can score. All right, the crowd goes wild. The echo is everywhere. The lights are bright. The ceiling is high. The plexiglass is there to protect them. And she doesn't get a goal. Try shooting it at me next time. Oh, sure. <laughs> Kim, it has been really great and truly humbling to get to know you today. Not only do you have two careers, but you're really good at both of them. We're Should we much... blow the whistle on today? Let's blow the whistle on today. <laughs> Stay sassy.